Hey guys, welcome back to Might and Magic Heroes Era of Chaos. This video is sponsored by Ubisoft. So shout out to them. Thank you very much. And today's video is going to be all about this guy right here, Rashka. I'm about to claim Rashka right now. And then we'll break down his abilities and show you guys where he's really good at with what units you should be pairing him up with. So let's not waste any time, guys. Let's get right to it. All right, let's get back into the gameplay, guys. Today, I'm about to show you how we're going to get Rashka, one of the better free-to-play heroes in the game here. So all you got to do is complete Chapter 8, and you unlock Rashka, a speciality under Rashka's leadership, Afrit. Afriti will upgrade to Fire Lord. The abilities will be improved greatly. All right, so if you guys watched my last video, I actually have Devil. So I'm thinking pairing Rashka with Devil and, and Afriti. Something about that name that gets me every time. But I think that's going to be a great pairing there. So let's get on with it, guys. Let's go ahead and finish up this chapter here. A couple of quick campaign tips here. All throughout your campaign, make sure that you always never leave anything untouched here. You can always go to your scout's uh, letter and find out what you missed. And it will directly take you there. And then you can claim all your prizes here. So this is great. I love this feature about this game here. But that's not what we're here. By the way, don't miss your chance to pre-register for this game, guys. It's going to be a lot of fun. And this is a great opportunity to get a lot of goodies for pre-registering, all right? So I will have the link in the description. Pre-register. Don't forget about it. Now, let's move on here. We're going to go into the final chapter here. And you actually get to use Rashka here as your hero. Commander, what you're facing now is the strength of history. Irathia's capital has never fallen. It has stood stronger since the kingdom was established centuries ago. Then it's time for us to rewrite history. Conquering Studwick will be a huge blow to the morale of the Aetherian defenders. Even Catherine will tremble before us and beg for mercy. Alright, so that's the campaign history there. So here is a little bit of preview of Rashka's abilities here, guys. And we can go ahead and we can talk about them right now a little bit. Actually, let's talk about them after here. So... Like I said before in uh, the, the quick beginners video on battling guys that I did before here You have to kind of see what you're gonna pair up your ability your heroes with here So let's just go ahead. I think this will be enough here. Let's go into the battle formation Now let's take a look at a battle here. So this is a castle battle. We are actually uh, Battling a boss. So whenever it's a boss battle you have to get through the castle the archers and then you go into the battle here so I love the combat battle style. It's a little hectic if you don't know what's going on. To be honest with you, you have to really know what the units are doing, who's doing what, and what's which hero is doing what at what point. Um, one little hero is my devil here. As you can see, he's in the back just terrorizing everybody. His abilities are he can actually jump to the backline hero and do a ton of damage. So all in all, and he's my MVP. Usually he's my MVP. That's why I love devil. He's so good. Now let's go ahead, guys. Let's claim our prize. And... Unlock Rashka. So there we have it. Let's get him right now. Congratulations. You have unlocked the new hero. Rashka is part of the team now. Beautiful. This is exciting, guys. Always excited to get a new toy onto the team here. And we can actually upgrade his abilities and see what he's all about. So let's go ahead. Let's head back here. And let's go into our main account here. Boom. All right. So heroes and... There he is. This is my... Uh, let me see here. I've got a ton of heroes here. One, two, three, four, five. My sixth hero. Let's take a look at Rashka. Break him down here. Skin is already equipped. So this lets me know here that they're planning... The devs are probably planning something in the future on probably putting in different types of skin for these heroes, giving them different abilities, which is always exciting. I love that. So shout out to them for that. I love new skins on abilities here. So let's go ahead and take a look at his speciality first, and then we'll move into his abilities. So if you don't already know, each hero has its own speciality ability, and then they have four different abilities as well. So a lot of things to go into here to consider. All right, so at one star, Rashka here, Afriti are upgraded from Fire Lord, damage dealt by Firestorm increases by 30%. And areas released increases by two. Whoa. So not only does he transform Afridi to Fire Lord, but he's but the damage that he deals from Firestorm is gonna increase by 30% and it's gonna increase the range as well. Woo! That's pretty cool here. And alright, so once you get him to two stars, you're gonna unlock attack of Afridi and Fire Lord is increased by 30% more. Wow, that's sick. At two stars, give him even more damage there. And then at 3 stars, damage reflected by Fire Lord's Fire Shield doubles. 
and uh, the duration increases by five seconds and then at four stars when fire lord is on the field uh fire resistance of all friendly units increases by 50 percent, and fire resistance of all enemy units decreases by 50 percent. whoa all right so creating a nice fire themed team with Rosh R with rashka seems pretty incredible guys that's obviously what stands out to me the most here putting him obviously with ifriti here and the devil if you have him and there's a bunch of different units that actually do burning damage which could go really really well in this formation so i'm loving what i'm seeing from this guy here so let's go ahead let's take a look at his ultimate here infernal flame summons an infernal fissure dealing 216 damage fire spell damage on enemy units around the fissure every 0.5 seconds and uh you can always upgrade these abilities and it's gonna increase its damage and how long it lasts the damage is half the damage is halved for infernal units oh so going against infernal units is not bueno not good guys that's something to keep an eye out second ability here fire arrow deals 1467 damage fire spell damage on enemy units in a certain area and burns them that I like the burning I really really like because I'm gonna show you guys later on what I'm gonna pair them with and it's gonna go tremendously and it lasts for five seconds Ooh, I like the burning there and then curse decrease targets enemy units attack by 50% for eight seconds that's quite a bit whoa decreasing attack by 50% is a lot that's a really good ability there guys and then fourth ability increase attack by 50% and life drain by 30% for friendly units within a large range lasting eight seconds all right, I kind of really like what I'm seeing from Rashka here. I'm not going to lie, guys. All right, so let me show you now why I'm so excited to get Rashka here and possibly put him on my team here. All right, so here we are in my units, guys, and this is why I'm so excited about Rashka here is because I have some of my better units here are, well, Devil is probably one of my best units, and this guy is all about dealing that damage, that burning damage here. So let's take a look at his ability here. Not silence this one ability deals 9000 damage pretty much damage to three random hostile units critical hit dealt to burning units is increased by 500 so like i said before guys putting this guy here with rashka with efriti here it's going to be a such a great combination and i'm actually working on trying to get my uh Afriti. um let me see how close i am all right so i have 17 pieces i need 30 let me see if we can go in the campaign store here there he is okay i'm gonna buy some there that's five and looks like i'm probably one or two days away here all right so free is gonna have to wait just a little bit longer on that guys but i also have firebird which is a pretty cool hero here as well and it also does a lot of damage here against burning units as well uh they're able to do a crit so so building your teams is all about what heroes you're gonna be able to get from your altar summons guys so just keep that in mind guys if you get lucky with some pulls then obviously you can build a pretty decent team if you don't then you're just gonna have to keep grinding away guys there's a lot of free to play aspects about this game here that i enjoy and then once you have your unit then you can actually make a choice on which hero you're going to actually go with to really really supplement those units so that's the way to do it in my opinion i really recommend getting the units that you get lucky with in the pools and then you pick out a hero that you really want and then there's a bunch of different heroes that are actually universal they can go with a ton of different units as well there are some heroes that are particularly specific for a certain amount of units and then there are some heroes that can be used for any units in the game all right so keep that in mind guys so that'll be it for this video guys i just wanted to show you guys rashka here and just let you know to pre-register for this game it's gonna be incredible it's gonna be a lot of fun thank you very much for ubisoft for sponsoring this video once again and i will catch you guys on the next video guys till then have a good morning good afternoon and good night